Sorry, it's not. No, you're not quite right. Um, we can't see Orion at this time anymore. Uh, from this, uh, uh, because game. of the seasons. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. And actually, uh, it's only within the last month now that we've more or less lost sight of Orion oh. for the summer months. Oh. And that's because Orion will now be visible during the daylight. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, um, you know. From essentially from November until mid April is when we have a view of Orion above the horizon at night. And so as we get further into the spring, January, February, March, April, um, Orion appears on the sky earlier and earlier every evening. Mm. And so right now it's already gone down below the horizon. Mm. This direction over top of the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it now. All see, all the way down. That's so cool. That okay. is the Milky Way. And this is why tonight we are very lucky. Because I it's see it now. so calm. See, see, that, there, mm, there you go. There's nothing in the night sky to obstruct our view. Right. Oh, like another said, interesting really, star. Oh, I saw. Star? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah. there. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> make a <laughs> wish. Make a wish. <laughs> So with our Milky Way, and to kind of help accentuate a little bit, I'm going to draw your attention to another asterism, another shape. This is called the Summer Triangle. Look for three really bright stars. One. Oh, yeah. That one. Two. Wow, that's far. And three. Whoa. So this is a real big shape, isn't it? Right. Taking up a large chunk of the night sky. We but call they're that bright. The Summer Triangle. Summer triangle. And each one of those stars has its own constellation 